Ahoy me hearties and welcome back to Hanging with Hodge. I'm your host Dave Hodgkins and this is another episode of Mead and the Movies. This time we're setting sails on the high seas with the notorious pirate Captain Kidd with a bottle of one of our favorite meads which we're going to discuss in just a minute. However before we get started do me a favor uh, take a minute click that like and subscribe button especially that subscribe button will help out our channel a lot and I'd really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. And then we'll get started right after this. So very shortly, Wendy and I are going to be hitting the high seas on the Princess Regal for a much needed vacation. And now first I want to thank Alyssa over at Academy Travel for booking everything for us. She's taking care of everything. Uh, now this is not a paid advertisement or sponsorship, it's just when somebody does us right, I like to give them a shout out. So I really appreciate everything that she's done to make sure that we get on our dream cruise that we're looking forward to. I'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, to her Facebook page. Uh, give her a message, shoot her a message over, and she can hook you up with your vacation as well. She does specialize in Disney, which, you know, as you can see, the Disney here. So, as I said, we're hitting this high sea soon. So, tonight, I've got a bottle of Pirate's Blood Mead here. And let me tell you, it is the perfect drink for swashbuckling adventure. It's made with honey, cherry juice, and a triple blend of berries. So, it's sure to put some wind in your sails. So, for more information on this, there'll be a link at the end of this video that will take you to that recipe. First, though, let's take a look at it and give it a taste. So now this one here I made back in September of 2021. Uh, so it's been sitting here. So it is clear. I like this. It's got a really good color to it. Get that nice color to it. Got a great fragrance, a great aroma to it as well. And there is a reason this is one of the favorites. So, and this is really mellowed out uh, now over a year now, so this is really good. However, drinking it in a glass like this just won't do. We need to go to our treasure chest. Yes, everybody should have a treasure chest, don't they? And everybody should have a pirate's mug. So, we'll pour ourselves a healthy glass of grog. <laughs> now let's talk about the movie, Captain Kidd is a 1945 swashbuckler film starring the legendary Charles Lawton in the title or role. It was directed by Roland Lee, which was his last movie to direct before he retired. Now, this one went into the public domain in 1972 when the producers neglected to renew its copyright, so that's good for us. The film is a tale of treasure, treachery, and betrayal on the high seas that starts and ends with death. Kidd tricks the King of England to commission him to escort a treasure ship from India, and he enlists the crew of pardoned cutthroats from prison. When Kidd and his crew of misfits set sail to steal the treasure and then find a cache of hidden loot he buried after taking the ship the Twelve Apostles, they soon find themselves at odds with the gunner who has his own designs for the ill-gotten gains. Now, as the plot thickens and the stakes get higher, Kidd must navigate the treacherous waters of the Atlantic and outsmart his foes if he hopes to claim the treasure for himself. It's a classic pirate movie filled with thrilling action, suspense, a touch of romance, and some good plot twists along the way. Who is that Adam Mercer, really? Hmm. But enough about the plot, let's get into some fun facts. Did you know that Captain Kidd was actually a real pirate named William Kidd who sailed the seas in the late 17th century? He was executed for murder and five counts of piracy in 1701. He was actually hung twice because the first time the hangman's noose broke. Now many people thought that he should have been set free because this was a sign from God, but they fixed it and hung him a few minutes later. 
And while the movie takes some liberties with history, as an understatement, it still captures a sense of adventure and danger that comes with being a pirate. Additionally, Lawton later went on to reprise his role in the 1952 comedy, Abbott and Costello Meet Captain Kidd. So although the film was not originally a critical or commercial success upon its release, it has since gained a cult of following among pirate movie enthusiasts, including Lazy Eye Davy, who stars in the original video, Pirate's Blood Mead, which is also linked at the end of this video. So grab a glass of mead, a Pirate's Blood Mead, kick back, and let's set sail with Captain Kidd. Arg! Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more mead and the movies, and be sure to tag your friends who love a good pirate adventure. Yar!